So how do you get a gas engine started? There are three things that run an, a, a gas engine, okay? I was about to say electric motor, okay? Three things. It's a fire, basically. It's air, fuel, and spark, okay? So we'll, let's take a look, right? Let's take a look, okay? So the first thing is you got to ask yourself a question. Am I getting air? And this is where the, the filter would have been. Right, and I've got one of those. I, you don't need the filter to run the engine, although it does affect the amount of. So then what we do is this guy goes like this, and then there's a cover, but it's not necessary. I'm just, I'm just showing you so that you understand what's going on. So we're getting air. I don't see any restriction there. Okay. The next thing is, are we getting fuel? So let's take a look. Okay, so. See. All right, I see a little bit of liquid in there and I can smell it. Okay, you go like this when you smell it. Okay, smells like something's in there, all right? So there, there's a little bit of fuel. I usually don't put gasoline in, I just put uh, denatured alcohol. It's just a little bit less uh, smoky and you don't have to run to the gasoline store. I just do denatured alcohol. Yeah, the engine doesn't care. You know, it's just, you know, it's just a light fuel. That's all it is. Uh, and also, now that we're on the topic, just so you understand, gasoline is just liquid um, sunlight. And where do they get the sunlight from? It's an oil, but the oil is made from uh, dead trees, dead, uh, you know, plant life. Like, believe it or not, like. Here, you know, like all this stuff, you know? For instance, okay, I'll release some sunlight right now. Okay, let's get a lighter. I think I have a lighter here. So here we have just a leaf that came from out there. All right, and I got a lighter and all I got, and there's oxygen. So it's air, fuel, and this will be the spark, ready? There you go. So that's sunlight coming out. All right. Now, because the sunlight is being released, it's separating from the carbon. Now, I don't know if you realize, but here, let's take a look. You see this large... Now, look, hold on. Listen, when I explain this, this is like a big concept that I break down into a very small idea. Okay. Trees... Look at the tree. Look at the size of this tree, right? But yet, there's no hole in the ground. You see? There's no hole, right? So where does the tree get all of its mass, right? And what it does is it actually breathes in carbon, uses the sunlight to break the water. Because you know it needs water, right? So it takes sunlight and water. And water is H2O, right? The H, it takes the... the hydrogen and the carbon from the air and it creates mass okay boom but then now it and it and it gets rid of the oxygen part right but then when you when you light it on fire you reverse the process so now what you're doing is you're going to reverse the process and you'll notice that in the air you can see the carbon being released all right so that's an energy release the separation between it's a chain reaction. It's a chemical thing. Anybody, any chemist knows this. It's a reaction. Uh, okay, so here we go. There you go. So that, you're seeing the energy being released. And there's, there's the smoke. There's this right here, all this stuff. That's carbon. Okay, so this stuff sits in the ground over millions of years, gets washed downstream, goes into the oceans, and then when it goes to the bottom, the, the water compresses it and becomes an oil, right? They extract the oil, and then they refine it into several different products, one of them, alcohol, although really that would be, yeah, the alcohol doesn't come from the oil, alcohol, I'll have to check on that, but it's basically, it all comes from plant life. Anything that lights on fire comes from plant life. Okay, so... So then he, then I spilled some here, and I'm just going to light it. There you go. It's actually on. And there's less carbon content right there. 
Okay, I don't know if you see that, but there is carbon coming up there. Okay. Now I put it out because it actually kind of messes up the surface of the table here. Um, all right, so it's liquid. It's it's liquid. It's liquid sunlight. Is basically what it is. All right, so let's pour some in. Okay. All right, that's also the danger of uh, alcohol is that it burns so clean that you won't see there's not much carbon coming out of there. I gotta look that up, that's interesting. Like, how come when you burn gasoline, there's so much smoke? Okay, now the other cheating method is we can use ether, which is, which is like highly volatile, okay? And I can spray this into the intake to get it started, you know, because it's kind of hard to get it started. So the alcohol is volatile, but you saw I had trouble lighting it. But the way to get around that is you just kind of um, add some, what they call starter fluid right here. All right, so that's super volatile. We're gonna put the cover back on. The last thing we gotta check for is spark but I don't need to check for that. We're just gonna try and run it. If it doesn't run, then we gotta check what's going on with the spark. Okay, let's do this. The reason that it's oscillating like that is because it has no blade on the bottom and the blade provides like a um, centrifugal force mass, which has, which is like a flywheel. Okay. Once you get going, it's like being on a bicycle. Once you ride the bicycle, it's got balance. In the meantime, it doesn't. Now, um, at low RPM, it can't process the fuel very well. So what it does is it opens the throttle. But then when it gains RPM, it has to close the throttle. Otherwise, it will over rev the engine. So there's no computer and there's no batteries. But right now, it is monitoring the speed by going open throttle. Then it goes close the throttle. Do 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 open the throttle, da -da -da -da. so it's fighting itself with what's called a governor. It's an automatic governor, which is, you, you didn't know that, right? Did you know that? Did you know it has an automatic governor? Okay, so because of the governor, it's gonna move around. Now I could hold down the throttle myself and I'll get it to stabilize. Okay, here we go. Now that it's warm, it starts right up. Oh, might need some star fluid. As you can see, that's what's happening. So I'm able to manipulate it myself. You can actually see that happening. So this here is your carburetor. And right here is the throttle. Now this pulls on it like this, right? And then there's this cable uh, connector that goes inside to like an air vein. So it goes, so it's like a fan. So it goes, it goes a lot more speed and then it like kicks it back. Then less speed and the, and the spring pulls it in. So I'm gonna film this as that happens, okay? Here we go. We'll do 
that one more time. All right, see how that works? <laughs> it's kind of cool, right? Okay. All right, so we got it started. Mission accomplished. Now, I got a kind of a cool device. We could, let's say that didn't work. All right, it didn't work. I mean, it did, but let's just say it didn't, okay? And we checked for air and we checked for fuel. Now we got to check for spark. I got a cool toy uh, for checking for spark. Uh, here it is. Yeah, Harbor Freight. Inline spark tester. So I'm gonna open this up, I'm gonna hook it up and then we're gonna run it, okay? Okay, so I don't know if you saw that, but we're gonna check right now. Okay, that didn't work, so I think there's too much light. So what I did was I actually went and got an umbrella and I placed the umbrella right over where the camera's gonna be so that you could see the spark jumping through that little spark tester device. to uh, cover the sun. It wasn't much sun, but it was enough to mess up the camera anyway. So you could see that that has spark, right? So now that you know it's got spark, uh, it's got the three things that make a fire, which is air, oxygen, fuel, which is hydrogen and carbon together, and then spark, and then we boom, break it apart. The energy is released equal to the sunlight it took to make it. I just made that up, but I think it's pretty similar. Um, we'd love to know the formula for that, to know how much sunlight to how much hydrocarbons a plant makes. Anyway, so a plant is basically a battery for sunlight, okay? So it's kind of a cool thing. Um, all right, so uh, the next step is we're going to do the drill start. That's what we're doing next. All right, see you soon.